Many people don't like to work on math problems or think about numbers. If you work with pesticides, you need to be able to do some math. How much pesticide do you need to treat a certain field? How big is that field? How much spray mix do you need? And of that, how much is product and how much is carrier, like water? These are all problems that you have to deal with when you work with pesticides. We're going to review some math to help you figure out the answers to those problems. We'll cover ratios or proportions and how you can use those with cross multiplication to make your life a lot easier or maybe just make you more comfortable when faced with math problems. First, ratios. What is a ratio or a proportion? It's a comparison of two numbers by using a fraction. Let's take a look. Suppose you want to apply an insecticide to a field and the label says to use two pints per acre. We can write that out as a ratio or proportion, two pints over one acre. What if a label says to apply two ounces per thousand square feet? You'd have a ratio of two ounces over 1,000 square feet. And let's do another. Mix two pounds in 20 gallons of water. That's two pounds over 20 gallons. Now something interesting about this is that we can simplify it. It's the same as one pound over 10 gallons. Remember, a ratio is a comparison. Two over two is the same as one over one is the same as five over five. So you can get a lot of information from a label and often you can convert the numbers in labels to ratios. Why is that important? Because you usually aren't just treating one acre or 1,000 square feet. By using the ratio or comparison, you can figure out how much pesticide you'll need for a different sized area. Let's go back to that insecticide label that says to use two pints per acre. Suppose your field is 60 acres. How much insecticide do you need? First, set up the ratio with the information from the label. Put two pints over one acre. Now we want to figure out how much we'll need for 60 acres so we can use that ratio or comparison to find out. We'll set up the problem like this, where n is the unknown number of pints we want to determine. Some people use x, but I thought that might get confusing with the multiplication sign of x, so instead I used n. Put the same units on the top, here we have pints, and the same units on the bottom, and here we have acres. We're trying to find out the number of pints, so I'll use the letter N for that unknown. We have two pints over one acre equals our unknown N pints over 60 acres. Now, to solve this, we cross multiply. Two pints times 60 acres equals N pints times one acre. Two times 60 equals 120, so we can say 120 equals n pints. Check this out by plugging the numbers into that equation we used. Two pints over one acre equals 120 pints over 60 acres. If we did it right, when we multiply the top number of one fraction by the bottom number of the other, we should get the same answer as when we multiply the top of the other fraction by the bottom of the first. Let's try it. 2 times 60 equals 120 times 1, and 120 equals 120, so we were right. Now, 120 pints is an odd number to try and purchase or measure, so let's use cross-multiplication to find out how many quarts that is. First, remember that 2 pints equal 1 quart, so we'll set up a ratio, 2 pints over 1 quart. We want to convert the 120 pints to quarts, so we set up the second ratio in the same way with pints on top. So now we have two pints over one quart equals 120 pints over our unknown n quarts. Here we cross multiply, so two pints times n quarts equals one quart times 120 pints. Two n equals 120. We have two n, but we want to solve for just one n. So we divide both sides of the equal sign by two and n is equal to 60. Now 60 quarts is really another odd number to work with too. Let's convert that to gallons. One gallon equals four quarts, so set up your ratio. One gallon over four quarts equals n gallons over 60 quarts. Do your cross multiplication and one times 60 equals n times four, or we could just call it four n. Divide both sides by 4 to get n equals 15 gallons. Now, if you knew right away that 1 gallon had 8 pints, 
you could convert 120 pints to gallons in one problem. Set it up one gallon over eight pints equals n gallons over 120 pints. Cross multiply to get one times 120 equals eight n. Then divide each side by eight and you have n equals 15. In this problem, we put gallons on top and pints on the bottom. Does it matter if we set it up with pints on top and gallons on the bottom? Let's try it. Eight pints over one gallon equals 120 pints over n gallons. We cross multiply and have eight n equals 120. That should look familiar. Divide each side by eight to solve for n and the answer is the same, 15 gallons. You have to have the same units on the top of each fraction or ratio and the same units on the bottom, and it will work out every time. So now you know how to set up ratios. You should be able to figure out how much pesticide to apply for a specific area like acres or 1,000 square feet using information on the label. Set up ratios with the same units on top and the same units on the bottom. Cross multiply to solve for your unknown number. Then. To check that you have the right answer, just replace the n with the number you found and cross multiply. Both sides should be equal. Just practice using some labels. And you'll see making ratios and doing cross multiplication isn't that hard. That's it.